for, for Dublin Central, Nessa. He's with us too on the line today. Gary, should or could the guards have stepped in here yesterday? Yeah, absolutely. A very minimum Section 8 of the Public Order Act gives the guard a licence to, if a person's behaving in a manner which could be construed as being threatening either to a person or to a property, the guards have a right to tell that person to move on. If they don't move on, they can face up to six months imprisonment or 500 euro fine. And I can't for the life of me understand how a guard's not coming out telling those, and I'm loath to call them protesters, so they're not. They're intimidating. I've been to many of protests. I've never seen too many people wearing balaclavas while I'm there. Um, the guards have absolutely within their power to go out and tell somebody to move on. If they don't move on, they can be arrested and face the punishments of the fine or imprisonment. Um, we've had a softly, softly approach to these people for too long. We've seen politicians being harassed outside the doll. We've seen Martin Kenny having his car born to We've seen any number of kind of public meetings being interrupted. We, this is not the first time we've seen politi- politicians' homes come under, and I am just going to say, come under attack. You walk up to a politician or a person's home, you place um, placards and, and all sorts of misinformation there. It's threatening, it's borderline violent, and we know how this is going to escalate. We've seen what happened in the UK, where politicians have literally been murdered in their constituency offices as you go down the street. Um, I can't for the life of me understand why we are not dealing with this and the, the seriousness that it deserves. Like I have disagreements with Roderick on various different issues of policy mm. and that's fine. But the idea that people can just go up and intimidate him outside of his home, that is absolutely shocking and it's escalating. I see the guards released a statement about this all right. Um, they, they say they were notified shortly after 8 o'clock last night following reports of a public gathering involving a small group of individuals outside a private residence in the Blanchardstown area. A guard, the presence was maintained at the scene until the group dispersed a short time later. No arrests were made. Is that satisfactory? No, not even close. A public gathering. There was an assembly of aggressive men who were wearing ballet clothes, went up to intimidate a person in his home. It's not a public gathering. I mean, that language in and of itself is shocking. I mean, the Garda Commissioner, the Ju- Helen McEntee, the Justice Minister, they really need to have a look at their approach here. Like, because, I mean, they cannot say they haven't been warned. A public gathering is a horrific use of language for what we all witnessed last night. So, quite a number of people getting in touch with us here uh, listeners wondering can you get a guard to explain what is the law of such behaviour we did actually ask the GRA on the show today another texter's wondering the guard the softly softly approach is going to get people hurt uh, the far right um, are anti-migrant and um, yeah it's a democratic, democratic group funded by English groups they're going to start intimidating private citizens if they aren't stopped another listener makes the point I'm listening to the discussion today about the protests at the uh, minister's home it's disgraceful a private home should be off limits but elsewhere allowed all protesting and that is a democratic right you see that is the point Nessa and loads of people are getting in touch today that, you know, making the point that people do have the right to protest, peaceful protest. But this, this, isn't, this isn't peaceful and it's not protest because it's harassment. And we specifically in our legislation have already accounted for that. We specifically already recognise that protest is absolutely really important. And same as Gary, I've been to loads of protests. Actually, I can't think of any protests I've ever been to where people ne- felt the need to hide their faces. So this isn't protest, this is intimidation and this is harassment. Every single politician working right now is well used to being protested. We're well used to people being in and around the doll, people going to particular departments. Nobody, and, and going on protests ourselves like we're all you know political animals we're well able to do that there's no problem with protest i would defend the right to protest to my last breath but i do not defend anybody's right to harass somebody else and i really agree with gary that i think that i don't want to be here or on this show or any other show in a few weeks or a few months when something has happened something really serious where somebody has been attacked and we're asking why didn't somebody do something why didn't anybody stand in yeah just on that stay with us nessa and and gary if you don't mind i've ronan lupton with this. Ronan is a, a senior counsel, a, a barrister. Ronan, is this intimidation? It is, Andrea, and it's appalling behaviour. I think Gary summarised it very well last uh, a week or t- in the last week or two. These people are just gobshites. They're going around with masks on, wielding banners, to close the borders. And let me tell you quite clearly: we close the borders in this country. Those individuals who are pro- protesting outside Minister Gorman's house will be getting their holidays to Magaluf. And if you brought the protest to their house, I can tell you they wouldn't like it themselves. Um, I want to highlight Imelda May's poem, you don't get to be Irish or racist and Irish. You just don't. So the legal position um, was set out by Gary quite well there, I think. 
Sections 8 and 13 of the Public Order Offences Act allow the Gardaí to take steps. Is it intimidation and harassment? Absolutely. Uh, There's no two ways about it. Now, there is a greyness in the area in respect of the right to peaceful protest, which we will all defend. And I I heard Nessa say that, I heard Mm. Gary say it too. Mm. We will all defend that. But at the same time, you can't have a situation where someone's rights to privacy, peaceful enjoyment of their dwelling, which is a constitutionally protected right, and just their peace of mind interfered with, and their neighbours interfered with, because of uh, these actions. And masked individuals as well. I mean, years ago, an act was passed in relation to the offences against the state um, to do with subversive behaviour and Mm. and, and the use of masks and so forth. So there are, in fact, laws on on, on the statute books uh, which give the power power to the Gardaí to take steps. So I'm not saying the Offences Against the State Act is the correct act, but certainly the Public Order Act would empower them to to move. Separately then, we've had much talk about the hate speech bill, the laws in relation to incitement to hatred and the 89 Act are well stale at this stage. Now, I don't agree that the hate speech bill is in a, a perfect position for it to move forward into the door, but there certainly needs to be legislative intervention uh, in respect of what can and can't and isn't, isn't correct in respect of protests and where you can and can't do it. It's very difficult to put or enforce in legislation no fly zones or no go zones around people's property, but common sense and decency should prevail here. Well, and should the guards? Missing. Like, there were two... I, I, I couldn't quite tell from the video how many guards were in the, the two cars or the two squad cars that were parked there last night, Ronan, but there were certainly two cars. You can... The yeah. cars marked, you can see in the vehicle. So why didn't they intervene? Well, the problem here is that the video uh, clip may have been 